Welcome to Texas Illustrated presented by BMW. I am your host, John Harris. We're going to get to the surface presented by Microsoft here in just a second and take a look at number 81. Let's go back to the beginning of this play here. Get it set up. There we go. See Colin wearing right here, right there. And that's a guy over the next couple of games would really like to see a lot from. He had two big catches against the Colts. One went for a first down earlier in the game. And this is the one that came in the fourth quarter on the drive in which the Texans scored to tie the game at 20. And this is what I love about having a tight end that runs this route. Now, we've seen these three receivers right here, right there, Cooks, QT, and Chad Hansen all run a version of the route that Kahali's going to run. Kahali's going to work over here and get to that spot. Now, with a tight end, that's not the easiest route in the world to get a guy that can get all the way across the formation like that. That's tough. But Waring is a guy with four or five speed. He can get over there. Now, he's not as fast as any of these three, but the fact that you can line up a tight end here and force the Colts into some sort of personnel matching, that's what you'd like to be able to do. Now, because Kahale hasn't played a ton, kind of gets locked up here with Cooks. And so what they're going to do, they're going to match up man here, the Colts are. So they're going to go man here, and the Texans are going to try and get one of Waring on the over, Brandon on the shallow cross, somebody they're going to try and get open. So they're going to run these two guys out of here and get them out and kind of create this space all on this side of the field over here where this box is. So run these guys out of here, and you got room to work. Now, off the snap, you see Kahale and Brandon, you know, the time he's kind of off a little bit. Brandon's got to slow down, but he's able to get to his route. So not too bad. Now, the other, the other reason why this is big with Kahale running this route, as opposed to maybe the other tight ends, he's the fastest one in that group. Sean's got to get rid of his ball. He's getting pressure right here from Autry right away. So he's like, I got to get rid of this ball. So his drop actually is probably a little deeper because he knows, man, I got to get wearing over here. But as Deshaun is looking in this direction, he sees him running off uh, the thing that's Chad. Chad running off the corner, and he knows, man, there's going to be a spot right there. I just got to hang in there, hang in there. And then Kahali, you can see him running into that open area. Catches that pass, and away you go. Now, if Deshaun had more time, he would tell you this should be a touchdown. He knows. That's Kahale running into open space. He probably puts this ball a little bit over here. Kahale's got to step on the defensive back, and away he goes. But because he got some pressure, he's got to just put it on him. Kahale goes up and makes a big catch for 23 yards and a first down. And you can see it from this direction here. Here's Kahale, here's Brandon right there. And so what you're going to get, you'll see them kind of run into each other a little bit, like, all right. Now Kahale's taking off, and it doesn't slow Brandon down too much. Sean throws it out there. Holly goes up and get it, snatch it, get a big first down against the Colts. 81 is going to play a significant role in the passing game these next couple of games. And hopefully what that means is that he performs well and is able to take that on into 2021 and 2022. Those are the kind of plays that we've seen Jordan Akins make, and now we're seeing 81 make them too. If you get two tight ends doing that, what a lot of receivers have to do, it's going to end up being a good thing for Sean Watson in this offense in the last two games and on to the future.